Owners of the Phoenix Organic Farm and Garden Center are now pumping diesel fuel made from vegetable oil. Newswatch 12's Ron Brown reports the fuel may not save you much money at the pump, but it may save your conscience if you're worried about the environment. David Turzon is filling his diesel Volkswagen wagon with refined vegetable oil with the glycerin removed. It's not a new idea using vegetable oil as fuel, but this is the first time it's been offered in Oregon without hydrocarbon fuel as well. Torzon says he and his partners have worked for 18 months to get the station open, and now his biggest worry is that he might not be able to supply the demand. Corn and its derivatives are very cheap, and thus the fuel source itself is very cheap, but because they're lacking in supplies, it's driving the prices up to be comparable with regular diesel fuel. At $2.99 a gallon, it's slightly more than regular diesel is right now, but Tourzon and his partners think the product has a bright future. But this is a great start to be able to, you know, burn biodiesel in our cars right here in our community and make a statement to say that we support our local U.S. farmers. One thing about biodiesel, not only does it use products that maybe previously would have been thrown away, but it also helps clean up the environment because it burns cleaner. And also, if you had to deal with the smell of fueling your own vehicle, this smells just like vegetable oil. 100% um, biodiesel um, burns at least half as much noxious emissions as regular diesel. Tourzon says one of his suppliers hopes to contract with the Kettle Potato Chip Company for all of their used oil, and that could mean a supply of 6,000 gallons of vegetable oil a day that could be converted to biodiesel. He says recycling could supply most of the nation's diesel needs eventually. In Phoenix, Ron Brown, Newswatch 12. The bi rising biodiesel fuel station is the 4500 block of South Pacific Highway. That's right across the street from the Indian Motorcycle Shop.